How's it going everyone? It's Liam Kenaster here and we're going to be on episode number 7 of Orphan Black, which is called Parts Developed in an Unusual Manner. Um, it sounds like, I don't know, for, for some reason, considering uh, the bit of um, detail we got on Neo Lucian, uh, it sounds like it's going to be based around that, who knows, but uh, of course we had a really, really hectic episode last time out with, as I like to call it, Torchageddon, because it was. Um, no, with the whole monitor situation going on with um, Donnie, of course, it was frantic times, and uh, apparently he's not the monitor, so uh, if he... We don't know that, though. It's not 100% concrete, but, uh, I mean, he gave his alibi, so... Whether it's believable, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, no, but it was a really, really good episode, um, especially with the fact that Paul now has an idea on what he's doing, uh, like what he ex is exactly monitoring, because, of course, um, he's not exactly known in terms, like, what it, what he's monitoring, he doesn't even know. Uh, he's, he's just been told to monitor this person. That's it. So, um, but now he gets the full gist of it after Sarah eventually told him. But yes, when can we get to the final stretch of episodes of season one? I've just realized it's just been an amazing, amazing journey so far. So with that said, let's just get into episode seven. Hopefully this is a good, another good episode because they've all been stunning in their own way. So with that said, let's go. If you told me what this was about, perhaps I could help you. Perhaps you are helping me. I think he's going to, like, side with the clothes. Uh, well, if we're going to get past our monitors, we, we have to engage. Yeah, look where that got me. Into bed with him. Okay, look wow. where it got Allison. Yeah? She Not wrong. Body mods, biohacker. Now, wait, what about your eye? Mods. Is that a permanent augmentation? It will be one day. I've got other enhancements. My. I don't... I... I... Whoa. I... Philosophy is so physical, makes for a very handsome tribe. What about Olivier? Is he enhanced? Darling, you have no idea. So, when's the last time you and Beth were sexually intimate? So, three days ago. Then she initiated it. Right. She did. Is Dr. Leek in cahoots? She said, I'm not the original, that we are all the same. You're just another copy. Oh. Okay, chill, dude. Find the imposter. Bleed it for what it knows. Then kill it. Thomas, I'm gonna say this loud and clear. You're a dick. Is she gonna listen though? Scouring herself again. Oh, no, oh. No fur for you. But we must talk and eat. And eat. Let's have lunch. Oh, God, I got lunch. you, babe. No. <laughs> I dreamed that we were friends. We're not oh. friends. We will be. I've seen it. Oh, do you believe that future take visions? You wherever you go. Maybe she just likes eating, okay? This is a nice restaurant, isn't it? I know, I do. But okay, you let me live. Yeah. Ooh, so, so, she's, even. so she's swayed okay, to her. Go separate ways. We'll never be separate. But she's still convinced to the... Oh. Tell me the names of the others and I will spare you. Shh. You move your foot or I'll stab you again. Ooh, we're gonna get messy in the restaurant. <laughs> you didn't expect that, did you? Call this number. Or you die first. Giving her a chance, but... Bye-bye. See? I'm, I'm always going to say it. Crazy. <laughs> I just received the results of Beth's medical exam. Okay. She's not Beth. Oh, oh dearie. Not Beth. It's not your concern. Just bring her in. Dad. Dr. Leakey is working with alongside her. She's back? Yeah, and she wants her name Ooh, this could cause complications. Uh, Holy shit, Sarah. Don't worry, I won't get yeah. you. Yeah. Know, the person you were should... monitoring to? Not to Eight. Helena, Two. but to we Olivia. assigned you to. What? You were the one who said if your blind subject suddenly became aware, you'd terminate. Right, Mom. 
leaky. It seems Mark. like they want them, no, of the, course. The poster boy for this alive, movement called Neolution. Uh, hey, Neolution. There's still uh, some uh, shifty Olivier shit going on. Olivier owns a club called Neolution. Oh, that's coincidence. Yes, yeah, Felix said it's a bunch of biohacking body mod freaks. Uh, uh, Olivier is supposed to have a tail. A tail? For real? Like a modded. Yeah. That's what Felix. Get out my and I'll stay out yours. Bitch. <laughs> Bitch. Hey. <laughs> Calling each other bitches for shit. Um, don't do this. I saw her just a few hours ago. It wasn't her. She's a test <laughs> run. of some kind. Just run. <laughs> he knows. The I wonder what's gonna happen. Subjects looks exactly like Beth. You mean like a twin? Yes, Paul. Like oh. a twin. Wait, are they gonna? Oh. Dressed. Are they pinning the blame on set? Oh, nah. I had the chance to legitimize the child, so I became your legal guardian. Oh, damn. The last time I heard from Carlton, he was about to be arrested and he warned me. He, he, he begged me to move you away, to hide you deeper. This is... So. This is deep stuff. I left everyone I knew. Protecting. And I brought you and Felix here. Wow. Loyalty has its rewards. Oh, shh. I know what I did, Olivier. Shh. Don't make this way in Afghanistan go this away. A... You're free of your debt to us. You get your life back, Paul. Okay. Oh, my God. That's. Can I have this... my phone back? That's the. Uh... What do you think? Uh, the both That's of them I'm holding him on a leash. That's what he was talking about. Oh, shit. Well, why not? You, you could be the next one. Kind of he is prick. concerning. Uh, I can keep Kira safe. Just like I kept you. I love that. I mean, that, it, was, it was her doing... <laughs> Felix is like, well, this is a sight. But she literally risked a lot of things to keep Sarah safe, and I just really love that. They know you're not bad. Run. Oh shit, he's a- Oh! He doesn't- Oh, I knew he excited. Oh. You were never gonna get out of that one. I went working and shopping. I, I don't know what to make of this. <laughs> I don't know what it's to make of this. Midnight. Oh, she's He's gonna get Helena me. in. Oh. Olivier. That's not the name of a ship. A no, ship? but she's gonna set. Oh. Uh, <laughs> He's more important than a sheep. Okay. Because after we shed it, reminds me of what we can achieve. So eerie. Isn't it? You like to see it? Oh, no. 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 biohack, blood flow, nerve index, warm to the touch. But it's merely it's gonna performance art. He's going to show, isn't he? He's, she said no. He's still convinced. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, and here comes. Oh, now this is gonna be interesting. Here comes the real killer. Oh. She's irresistible, isn't she? I was gonna say, this is gonna be Olivier's birthday. He's not gonna only see one club, but two. If I was in your position, I'd fall in love with her, too. I just love that, though. He, he only sees Beth. Oh, shit! Go on! <laughs> See? No, he's still gonna pin this on Sarah. Oh! <laughs> so now that's your killer. I want to see our tail. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh! Go, Billy! Oh shit! The tail slowly. That's good. Oh god, wait, is that the tape? Oh my god, what the fuck? Thomas. Ah! Ah! 
She's crazy, but sometimes you gotta look crazy. Ooh. I guess there's a few things I should have told you. You think? <laughs> I mean, he did say you could have just said, but looks like yeah. There's no. D oh, he's gonna call Art. Oh shh. Uh oh. I was told to call. Um, oh, Christ. Let's go. Wrong number. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Hello. And it's gonna be a bit more suspicious when now the vet's been brought up, but. Literally that. <laughs> I don't know. What the hell? She's dancing with the. Oh my god. Helena. I don't know. Yeah, I just love Helena her me. antics in this episode. Yeah. It's time we admit what this is really about. This is the oh. Oh? Oh! I am. Um, I'm sorry, am monitor activists. I did I make a huge mistake? I have to go. Ooh. It match on the Jane Doe print. Oh shit! Who's Sarah Manning? And why the hell does she look like Beth? Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> Man, that was hectic. That was a hectic uh, round of Wolf and Black in this episode. Um, so yeah, it seems like we got a heavy... I don't know, a heavy focus on the enemy front as well with, um, you know, Olivier... Leaky, uh, who, you know, them two are in cahoot. They seem to be like, I don't know, the um, top of the food chain in terms of, you know, the like they are the top people to focus on. And as well as Thomas, who I think is separate from this whole, well, he definitely is, if um, they want to protect the clones but are willing to kill off the um, one who's, you know, they, they, let me rephrase that, they are wanting to protect the clones Whereas they are willing to kill ones who are killing, uh, killing the clones. Um, which, to Olivier, was Sarah. But uh, I think you can get full confirmation now with Helena, who I'm going to get onto in a minute because she was a star in uh, this in this episode. But um, yeah, whereas Thomas's agenda is, you know, basically be the wolf against the sheep, as you know that analogy has been brought up a couple of times but uh yeah it seems like they contrast but they are both um like both leaky and olivier and um and thomas are both like enemies of the clones but uh they if you put olivier and leaky and thomas to get uh, together then yeah fireworks will fly but um no i just really really enjoyed it um uh, there was some freaky shit with the whole um, modification stuff that Olivia had with the tail. It was like really, really eerie. But um, I'm, I'm just, I had a feeling that, um, you know, seeing the neo Lucianist stuff, I had a feeling that would somehow come into play for episode, uh, for um, the whole clone thing. And so it did with, you know, basically confirming that Leaky and, uh, Olivier, uh, you know, working together, and yeah, it's it's going to be pretty, pretty interesting, especially when, you know, Leaky gets wind of this, because I think he's coming over to be up with Olivier after the whole, uh, after Olivier said, oh, we have the killer. So, um, it's going to be very, very interesting to see what their next step is. But, yeah, it was absolutely great. Great to see Paul is on Team Clone. Um, I had a feeling he would, since Beth was being a, a bit, well, a bit, because she wasn't, um, you know, discussing the full thing about Beth. Um, but I think that might have been for the best. Uh, but she was discussing about the whole thing about, you know, why, um, you know, why Paul is the monitor. I think that's the biggest question going on, because, you know, he was just forced into this, and he was just basically told one objective as well as being um you know kind of forced into that situation like uh we saw that as well with um olivier showing the pictures of him in afghanistan so um yeah olivier definitely a really mysterious and sinister character but he seemed to have been i mean he had no chance against her later in that, in uh you know that confrontation but Great to see, like I said, great to see Paul is on the team. 
uh, clone. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm more leaning. I think to be fair, when he first was introduced, I was like, okay, he's a kind of a cliched character, maybe. I'll let it slide. And then, slowly but surely, he's gotten more interesting. Um, especially in the last episode when he was all Terminator and now he's, like, protecting, um, you know, he, he knows where, where his heart lies, I guess. Um, especially, especially that he doesn't really mind if Sarah, you know, like, he, he's basically romantic with Sarah, so that's all well and good. Um, Helena, Absolutely nuts. I mean, I think... So my friend, I was like, how could you think she's, you know, an awesome character? And I can see why in this episode, when she was talking to that picture with Paul. Um, you know, it was just so fun. It, it was just so eerie and crazy. And I just loved it. From her bouncing on the bed like a child to, you know, her dancing with the bit that she cut off from Olivier. It was absolutely hilarious. And I'm... Yeah, Helena is... I mean, she's always been an interesting character, but this episode really did, you know, spark some, like, spark some love for me. Um, even, even, you know, when she was threatening Sarah in the, in the restaurant, of course, um, it was really, really great stuff to see, especially when she was like, oh shit, you, you've basically, um, you you're basically ten steps ahead when she when Sarah got the knife like oh you threatened me I threaten you so <laughs> I'm I'm really loving that and as well as the fact that she was stuffing her face so um but no she's got this interesting like thing about her like she's accepted what she's been told by Thomas but I mean she's listening to Sarah as well like because she has that connection so she's a bit there's a bit of a conflict going on. Uh, especially if Thomas is like, oh, killer. Um, but she's got that little bit of resistance. Uh, even though she's threatened to, she's got a more, like, from seeing her do damage in episode three, I think she will have no, she'll have no, que it's basically no questions asked. She'll kill, yeah, no problems with that. But, like I said, she's got that little bit of resistance because she's got that connection with um, Sarah, so it's really, really neat stuff uh, to see, you know, a bit more development to Helena and making us love her a bit more, so that was awesome. Um, great, we got a bit of backstory as well with um, Sarah as well, with, you know, uh, Mrs. S, with that nice little... Because I think with a lot of scenes with Mrs. S, you've been... Um, I've had the mindset, I have personally, that she's a bit cold, um, you know, with the whole Kira situation, you want what's best for, for Sarah. Um, but I, I really enjoyed that moment when she was detailing about, you know, how she helped out, especially with Carlton, who I think might be involved uh, in present day um, matters, so he might be involved later in Orphan Black, who we'll have to wait to see, but... Uh, he seems, he seems to, he, I mean, he was protecting Sarah, so that was really, really nice stuff, but, um, you know, um, that was a nice little heartwarming scene with, uh, Mrs. S and, uh, Sarah, so I really loved that, and she, she even accepted a hug, so, yeah, whereas I don't think Sarah would, uh, she, she's usually been frustrated with her, but that was a nice little warming scene, but yeah, that was really, really awesome stuff to see, I think Cosima, uh, the Cosima and, um, the Cosima arc was just really, really uh, neat, especially with Delphine and, you know, them getting closer to Leek. Um, Leleki. Yeah, it was really, really um, interesting because, of course, he's the other major player, I guess, with the whole cloning situation. I think she should have, you know, when he invited her to... Uh, when he invited her to apply for Diad, um, is that what, is that how you say it? Diad or something like that? Yeah, um, I think she should to go under undercover. Maybe I don't know. That's that. That's my perspective. Like I'm rooting, you know, for because Cosima is an intelligent character, as we've gotten to know. But I would just love to see that. Like, uh, you know, because because um, I'm glad that we're getting a bit more development on her, and I'm wanting her to get her hands dirty like Sarah has, like I guess Alison has in the last episode. So. Um, cause, you know, this clone stuff is a big 
deal for everyone, like every version um, out there. It's a big deal. So I would love to see Kasima getting a hand. I mean, it 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 might come to that when uh, with the whole Delphine Fane monitor situation, but we'll just have to wait and see. But uh, no, I really really loved that episode. It was great stuff. Um, great to delve in a bit of the villainous territory with uh, Olivier. Um, great stuff from Paul for, you know, raging against the machine when he told Sarah to run. So uh, it was really, really great stuff. But uh, no, that was episode number seven. This this series has absolutely been smashing it thus far, and I'm really, really um, enjoying this uh, so much. But um, it was a great episode. Great stuff with the whole confrontation. Yeah. I mean, this was a pretty big episode in terms of confronting your, or I guess, the masterminds behind this. Because, um, of course, Sarah did, I mean, they, he got to see them for the first time. And like I said, it was pretty, it was a pretty big deal. He knows what they're capable of. So, like I said, the next move, I'm really, really interested to see. But, uh, no, that was, this was an awesome episode, so I can't wait to see what happens next. But until then, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right. If you want to check out more by content, you can also subscribe to my media feed channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care, and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!